Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover bearing, one of the most uh, interesting and probably most important concept in uh, our maths D syllabus, um, because it has a lot of practical uses in our life. Okay, uh, let's talk about bearing. Okay, bearing, and what do we understand by bearing? Bearing is the bearing is the angular distance distance from north all you have to remember is this for the definition of bearing bearing is the angular distance from north now what is angular distance uh, if we if we go from uh, one uh, one point to another point um, such as this one from a to b and in a straight line we call that linear distance we cover linear distance but angular distance if if this particular point is stuck and only this point can move that means this line can move up or down but it's going to stick to this particular point a so when it's moved this way let's say the new position of b is going to be somewhere over here b prime so this angle it makes that's our angular movement or angular distance. It might be any angle. Uh, right now, the way I have drawn, it's an acute angle. Most probably, it's going to be 15 degree. So this is a 15 degree angle. So this is known as angular distance. Now, Bering says angular distance from north. OK, where is north? In, 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 a, in our practical life, wherever you go, it's very hard to find out which side is north, which side is south, east, west. Uh, probably if you are really good at direction, you look at the sun and you will be able to tell which way is the north. But in our uh, maths D, all you need to remember that your paper, which way your paper is, the upside is always north. Okay, the upwards is always north. So the distance from north. Okay, so remember from distance from north and this distance has to be clockwise okay it's clockwise it's it should be this way all the way around okay that's our bearing uh, let me give you some example uh, let's say the bearing of the bearing of a point a from b is 40 degree okay this is given information and the question says what is the bearing of B from A. Okay, very simple basic concepts of bearing. Okay, the bearing of A from B is, is 40 degree. That's 40 degree over here. And the question says, what is the bearing of B from A? Let's, let's, try to understand the first sentence of this, the bearing of A from B. One of the important point is, wherever it says from B, okay, let's say this is the point B over here, okay, from B. Now, what you need to do, just draw a plus sign on this particular point B, and upside is gonna be north. So, A is angular distance from north of B, 40 degree. That's what bearing is. If you if you take the uh, protector and you just place it over here, you can find out 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 is somewhere over here. But we most of the time we're gonna do calculations, so we don't need geometry box. But from this north, if you just move 40 degree clockwise, somewhere over here is gonna be our B um, A. The bearing of A from B is this. 40 degree okay that's what the first line is saying the angular distance of a from b is 40 degree now the question is what is the bearing of b from a now remember what i said that from b whatever is uh, comes after from uh, after the word from you just box it out or circle it this is right now is from a so i have to draw a plus sign on A. So upside is north. Don't think that uh, north 
direction from A is this way. This is north side of B and this is north side of A. They are parallel. Okay. Now the distance we are looking at from A of B. So from north of A is this particular place. So we are looking at this angle over here. So from north of A, we're going to go clockwise and then somewhere whenever we draw this line over here that's our b and we need to find out this angle now you have to understand some of the geometrical concept whenever we have two lines two parallel lines okay and if i have a transversal line like that transversal line transversal line is a line that uh, intersect a series of parallel or non-parallel line. Now these two angles are known as alternate inter angles. Okay, uh, these two as well alternate inter angles, and this and this are alternate exterior angles. I'll explain that in some other um, uh, videos of mine. Okay, right now this angle, these two are parallel line. Okay, I'm going to use a different color. These two lines are parallel. Okay, this is north of B. This is north of a and they are parallel and this is the transversal line if you look at here so this angle and this angle has to be equal it's 40 degree and this angle over here we already know that's gonna be 180 degrees it's a straight angle so the required bearing or the bearing the bearing of B from A equals to 180 degree the whole angle from here to here 180 degree plus 40 degree that's going to be 220 degree that's our answer for this particular question now to solve bearing problem you have to remember a few things one thing always the angle is from north the angle you are trying to find out from north okay measure the angle or calculate the angle from north that's the first thing Okay, then these are things to remember, things to remember, okay, from north, always measure, it's from north. Number two, okay, then it's, it should, it should measure clockwise direction, clockwise direction. Probably this is the only one place of O-level maths, you will find out that whenever you go clockwise direction the angle is positive okay every other concepts most of the concepts of uh, especially in uh, admats all of them are negative if you go clockwise you, you should know that okay so remember these things uh, measure the measure the angle from north and uh, things to remember number two clockwise direction always clockwise clockwise direction don't go anti-clockwise direction Number three, when you read the question, okay, box out from, okay, from, box out or circle out the, the letter that comes, that comes after the word from, okay, and draw a plus sign on it sign on it okay and one thing I didn't mention over here uh, I think I am running out of space and always try to give your bearing in three digit okay write your bearing in three digits if you look closely the question when I write it down I wrote it down something wrong on purpose the bearing of A from B is we are not going to say 40 degree or 40 degree. We have to put three digits. So in front of it, we have to put four zero zero four zero or four zero forty degree. Okay. And this one is angle. Okay. It's not bearing. It's angle. So angle is 40 degree. Two digit is fine. If you have any angle, particular angle, it says 39.3 degree. You know that uh, when you are measuring angle, uh, you have to measure the angle if it comes to decimal one decimal places and uh, every other values if it's not mentioned it's the uh, three significant figures okay so if you have uh, 
0.125 degree if you uh, if your calculation give this angle you have to write down 112.1 degree okay correct to one decimal place for angle measurement okay but in bearing it's already given three significant figures okay but we have to have three main digit okay in that case this decimal place is not valid you have to put a zero in front of it so 039.3 degree okay that's our bearing and these are the things you have to remember okay uh, next two videos i'll show you some of the maths uh, important maths of uh, bearing from mathematics book three okay see you guys later be good